I personally think Paltan is KV's best character. I I don't I I'm pretty consistent sure. at least most consistent. yeah most consistently good character. I think Paltan is pretty well against Pikachu too, if my memory serves me right. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Love the taunt to start things off, and even gets first blood off of it with uh, yeah. the percent. Always worried to, about the taunt to get bodied combo. Here it goes. Oh, okay. Thought Mambo was going to start a uh, long nair loop th there, but uh, KV does manage to get out after only the first one. <laughs> Both these characters can just like nair loop for days. Yeah, really. Although one, it's a little bit more execution heavy than the other. I mean, that's the that's the sign of a top tier in this game. How good is their Nair? Pretty well. I know both uh, both of these characters I see pretty high on most tier lists anyway. Oh yeah. Oh, that was a, that was a good parry coming out from Mamba, but uh, very very great spacing from KV there to not make it even punishable on parry. Mm -hmm. Dead even at this point, but KV does find the grab. But of course, you can't really down throw back here as consistently. That's a oh. huge read, but not quite going to take the kill just yet. But the forward air, yeah, okay, it's going to do it. I think that might not have been the best DI of the forward air there. He did go pretty much straight sideways to the blast zone. Mm -hmm. Not really the best angle you want to go at. Oh, good cancel off of that platform, though. Otherwise, I think you would have been caught by something. Almost definitely. It seems like uh, after losing that stock, Mama's kind of slowed it down a little, trying to uh, more look for openings as opposed to forcing them. Yeah, it's just kind of high percent Pikachu in a nutshell, though, right? It's just trying to find that one shot. Yeah. Like, you, you can rack up damage just fine, but what about the killing blow? And you see this happen oh so often. Sitting at, like, high Ooh. percent and just can't finish it. I don't think KV expected that first down tilt at ledge to connect, so he wasn't ready to follow up yeah. off of it. Uh, Mambo's ready for that uh, cancel, but unfortunately... Oh, don't you do it. Okay. It's it's so hard. <laughs> it, it's... <laughs> All right. An another uh, another Pika Pika coming out there. But I, I don't even remember what I was saying. I get distracted by taunts. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. Exactly. Okay, that will finally do the trick that they're jolt into the dash attack. Yep. Yeah, Pikachu, Pikachu's dash attack is very, very good at killing. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really look like the type of move that would uh, that would kill, but it, when you, that sound effect when it hits you, you just know you're going flying. Mm -hmm. Okay, forward tilted away. Yeah, I've been going for a, a lot of those um, back airs on shield, but he's been getting he's been getting punished for them quite a bit. Yeah, it really doesn't seem like the back air even does that much shield damage either. So yeah, like net zero, trying to pull that off. Okay, couple hits, but then now he's kind of stuck on the platform in a bit of an odd spot. Dash attack, not yet. Now I was talking about uh, Pikachu's dash attack killing. Palutena's does that and is invincible. <laughs> yes, exactly. So uh, it's that's something to definitely look out for. That shield isn't just for aesthetics. No. <laughs> there it is. No, speaking of, <laughs> it, it that shield kills. Man. Oh, that was almost a, a solid read there from Mamba. He almost had the timing right. Yeah. It's very difficult to punish uh, Palutena, even when you know she's going to go for the ca uh, platform cancel on the up beat. Okay, Thunder. Oh, it just tries to reflect it. I'm smart, KB. Okay, squeaks in a dash attack, but... Oh, foot so Huh. Yeah, I'm not. I don't think that footstool was intended. His KB just almost always goes for uh, jump out of the uh, platform canceled up. These just happen to be spaced at the right time. Mm -hmm. Here we take those. It kept them safe after it. Oh, absolutely. Almost. Oh. I I I really didn't even expect. Like, I didn't even know that was a thing. Mm -hmm. That uh, that explosive flame off that string there. Similar story, same old song and dance here for Mamba, unfortunately. Yep. Oh no. Oh! That was so risky! And he's going like, to almost get a payoff out of it. That was like high risk, low reward. <laughs> yeah, good on Mamba there. New KB was going to expect the thunder. He uh, <laughs> takes the stock for it, so. I am so happy that KV got punished for trying to roll behind crab. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally call that the KV. Yeah. 
even when I'm not playing against KV, someone goes for that on me. Yep, that's the KV. And that's what I was talking about on the first stock here, long nair loops, and now KV is at 56 off one string. Of course, this is where Pikachu shines, right? These early percent combos yep. <laughs> getting 70 in a very quick fashion. Yeah, now there's only 20% uh, separating them as opposed to the uh, big lead KV had earlier in this match. Oh, what Nair just barely out of range. Yeah. <laughs> you can just verbally hear how <laughs> stressed out Mamba is right here, but that's actually a really solid parry. Yep. It's kind of approaching uh, percents where. Mamba Nair. could hit a kill, but wow. unfortunately, he was already in kill percent there, getting hit by that Nair from KB. Five. I feel like if I got caught in that air, I would have just DI'd like, right to the left, and it looks like the angle that's through you at just actually hurts you for doing that. Yeah. So, unfortunate there if uh, Mamba did the same, but it was such a high percent, I think it might have oh. been the case anyway. All right. Wait, what's, go what's going on here? A double character switch? No. No, just KV. Just KV switching off Palutena to Wario. I don't... <laughs> uh, KV. Yeah, so we are on game no, two, KV one oh to KV. I heard uh, KV calling uh, Mamba a sweaty for playing Pikachu. <laughs> uh, so it's big. Big talk coming from somebody who plays Palutena, Wario, <laughs> Wolf, Zero Suit. <laughs> mm. But anyways, that's mm. not the point here. Uh, <laughs> let's see what this uh, this Wario can do in this matchup. Just one of the many top tiers that KV plays. Relatively even start. Of course, Wario is a rather big guy, so can take a little bit more heat without going down. So yep. Borderline 100%, probably still not really sweating just yet. The flip side to that, though, I think Wario might be a bit better of a uh, weight for Pikachu combos. Very true. Which uh, might negate that weight if that percent gets racked on faster. Oh, reset? Oh, almost found it, but Mama's gonna get out there just fine. Grab, thrown up. Yeah. Where's the thunder? Not quite. Almost looked like Smash 4 for a second there, with people running up to each other and just sitting in shield for a bit. Habits that never die. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather wow. two people run up in shields rather than two bayonetas sitting there with neutral beam any day of the day, any day of the week. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I know what that's referring to. <laughs> Uh, we've got a bit more action than that going on here as uh, both these characters kind of looking for a kill here. Uh, Wario definitely can kill a little bit earlier than Pikachu with stuff like uh, forward tilt, wafts. Probably not. Uh, probably not this stocks. He doesn't want to waste that resource. Yeah. Back air. Pikachu more looking for stuff like up smash, dash attack, maybe even a combo into thunder. Yeah. There we go. Finally, the stray hit, the stray dash attack. Oh. Gonna take the kill. And looks like you're being called out for a match. It looks like. All right, well, I'm going to have to get off commentary. Uh, I'll probably be back after my match. All right, thank you. Oh, Ventus full versus Jimmy. Let's go. Oop, you're good. It's so pretty much all evened up here on the second stock. dead even right now, but of course, this is actually a really rough spot for Mamba. Can he get back onto the stage without getting punished? He is finally going to get there. Mamba going to fight his way back on stage. KV going to get the dash attack he's looking for to put Mamba right back off to the left-hand side. Everybody's back in the middle just fine. Mamba taking a little bit slower of some of these uh, T-Jolts. Nair just to get KV off of him for the time being. Waft, of course, completely on deck and ready to go if KB wants to fire it off. That forward tilt at the ledge, doing some good damage, good knockback. Mamba trying to get cheeky with that thunder, but not going to find it. Good nair to forward tilt, though. Both these guys just constantly back and forth. That was a bit of a misinput, but thankfully for Mamba, there's going to be no punish on that. That could have been a really bad time if KB fired off some sort of smash attack and still had the waft available for another stock. 
Good forward tilt again from Mamba, finding a couple of these. And it's got some knockback, but unfortunately, picking up the bike instead of firing off another tilt. Piece by piece, and it's going to be the forward air. Finally, Mamba's going to be able to secure that stock and try to flee here. Stall out a little bit more for that invincibility, and now he's putting on the damage. Three back airs and an up air, and still going. Stuck off on the left-hand side. Mamba going deep to try and get some sort of edge guard. Not going to find it, but does put on 50% and counting. Okay, 110 currently onto Mamba. One strong shot should do the trick, especially anywhere near the edges. He's still hanging in there. Again, a bit of a misinput. That's going to be a back air, but thankfully, for Mamba's sake, that did not actually kill. Still sitting there, high percent. And that's exactly what KV was looking for, though. This game is basically even now, considering that Waft is on deck. Just a matter of finding one setup. One of the more irritating things about Smash Ultimate is, of course, Wario's Waft setups. You can be winning the game, and he can turn it around if he has that thing charged. Yes, it takes a long time to charge, and it's a bit situational. And again... Some of these misinputs are just throwing Mamba off, it looks like. And verbally here, I'm just uh, frustrated with himself every time that side B does come out. Basically, in that case, gave away any sort of stage position that he did have in that encounter. Now, any damage from here on out is basically just giving KV rage. He fires it off. He's actually going to miss. So now it's a complete honest matchup here for the rest of the time. Two minutes to charge that thing up. We're not going to have enough time, even if it does go to full time. Although at this percent, even something like a half, if we do end up getting into that situation, we'll do the trick. Just heavyweight versus lightweight at this point. Mambo... Using some of these quick attacks just to be evasive, not trying to force the issue if he does not have to. Forcing KV to actually charge in. Speaking of charging in, it's going to be the quick attack and then the dash attack from Bamba to get that game. We're going to game three. Bamba with a sigh of relief after that one. We're going to big battlefield. Let's go. <laughs> Where to for game number three? They're definitely taking their sweet time trying to figure this one out. Of course, KV does have a ton of counter picks if necessary, whether it be the stage, whether it be the character. Depends how he's feeling. I know we saw the Palu earlier. We could see him switch back. It looks like that's going to be the case. <coughs> oh, the kind of words that Mamba likes to hear. Mamba, you make me nervous. All right, going to game number three. <coughs> this winter, winner's quarterfinal matchup. I'm going to Smashville, so less room for Mamba to run around and fire T jolts off if you wanted to try and slow the game down. Of course, we still have that platform dead center that KV can play around with with some cancels if he felt like doing so. Possibly extending the combo. Not grab range, though. Holy crap. I did not expect KV to get that grab. And that was nearly a kill. That back air hitting at the ledge close to 70%. Okay, there we go. Mamba fights his opportunity to sneak in, sitting at 100% himself. Borderline 60 now onto KV. Down air spikes him into the ground. He's going to continue the chase, trying to call out the teleport, but actually... It did not get canceled this time. So KV's gonna be safe. Could be a back throw from ledge. Not quite going to take the kill just yet. Mambo is ready for it. Mambo debating on going for some cheeky, but it ends up doing just going for the board smash at the ledge. Doesn't quite find it, but does get some damage elsewhere. 
KB waiting at the ledge just trying to pick Mamba off. And you can see that little extra roll that KB does there, whether he's looking for another back here or possibly a back throw on a neutral getup, would definitely do the trick here as Mamba's sitting at 160. Pretty well, most of Palutena's kill options, I'm sure, at this point could kill from across the stage. And sure enough, that dash attack is going to be one of those options. Send them basically straight up, so. Mamba down a stock, but this is still extremely doable. Didn't get all that forward arrow, unfortunately. Would have been clutch. <laughs> okay, spaces out the forward air so he can grab. And the back air is finally going to poke through, so 132 and counting, and that's actually a huge one there for Mamba. Get the taunt as well, love it. And Mama didn't actually take any damage before taking the stock afterwards. Well, during that invulnerability period, definitely did, but at least hung on for the meantime. Crosses up a forward air, and spot dodges a dash attack. And again, a misinput, but the forward air is going to be the only punish. Thankfully for Mom, but considering he's done that side B a handful of times here, the punishes that KB has been able to muster have been rather lackluster, so he's not getting completely destroyed by some of these side B attempts. But that up smash at ledge just peaks far enough to get that two frame. And that's going to put KB really far ahead now into this stock, or into this game in general. Okay, nice little string there from Mamba, finishing things off with the up smash, bringing KB down to 100%. How long can he hang on to the stock for? KB looking to try and just finish this now. <laughs> Mamba looking to finish it off just like he did stock one with that spike. Not going to happen though, that's pretty, not a pretty risky, but it's a, uh, ah, it's a hard option to time to say the least. trying to two-frame a spike or catch it before getting to that ledge. Doesn't always work. Back throw, trying to chase KB possibly. Spaces out the forward air, tries to go for a forward smash, but KB's just going to dodge out of there and teleport away. Forward air still not going to kill. Forward air is good for racking up damage, but in terms of knockback, it's not exactly the greatest if you can't get it off stage. Especially since half the time you fall out of the dang thing. Okay, Perry's back here, but KB not going to find any sort of answer. Mamba swinging for the fences. 175 and counting now. Very rough spot if, you're, spot if you're Mamba. Tries to go for the dash attack, but it's going to put him off the stage. Two frames of that down tilt, and he doesn't have a jump now. But Pikachu's recovery is still pretty solid. A rough spot when you have to essentially play flawless, and KV just taking his time here. Firing out the neutral airs to try and absorb any sort of aerial attempt. Back air still not going to kill for Mamba. And he actually finds the spike again. The half taunt as well, but KV is on the chase. <laughs> Very rough spot here for Mamba. Not impossible. Would be absolutely crazy if he can somehow pull this one off. The back air is going to make things difficult. Stuck off stage. Not going to get caught by the smash. So he's all right. Quick attack, dash attack. Almost. And the read to finish it off. Calls out the quick attack. KV going to take that in a very close to one set. And then I know I'm going to keep saying this.